Mosaic Church. Let's stand together. Let's worship God together. Come on.
shout a praise in this way. You guys get them. There we go. Thank you. Uh, you can go ahead and be seated just for a moment. We're going to do something this morning very special. Um, there is a lady that has been, I've been her pastor since she was like 16, I think, I feel like, and uh, forever. She's a very good friend, dear friend, and she's got a precious little baby we're going to dedicate this morning. So if you'd bring little Alejandro up. I don't know where we got steps, honey. Oh, you're fit. I know that. Look at this. Yeah. She's a trainer, so, you know, that's, well, the Bible says that children are a gift from God and uh, that we are to train them up in the way that they should go so when they're old, they'll not depart from it. This is a big task. It's, it's a responsibility that God has afforded you to have a gift from Him. And the Bible says there are several things, and I want to address them just, and then we're going to pray over little Alejandro, who you're just too good looking already, that's for sure. Our responsibility is to be faithful to God. In other words, you attending church, attending church, being in the house of God, it's the greatest thing that he's going to see is not just talking about God, but worshiping God. That's one of the ways that we train him up in the way that he should go. We train our children to believe, not just that we believe in God, but that we live out our faith in God, in Christ. Our responsibility is to be an example for our Lord. You're not going to be perfect parents. One of the greatest examples of all is when you do something wrong, repent and do it in front of him. When you say something wrong, say, I'm sorry. A lot of parents think that they don't have to apologize to their kids or make any uh, reconciliation. But I would challenge you. That's very important. When he sees God in you going, my parents are humble. They do make mistakes. How do, what do we do when we make a mistake? We ask for forgiveness. And then number three, our responsibility is to be trainers of our children for the Lord, not just living it out, but talk. It says train them when you're sitting down, Deuteronomy 6. Train them when we're walking. Train them when we're lying down. Train them with the, with the Word of God in their hands. Train them with the Word of God before their eyes on a regular basis. And train them with the Word of God written on items in our home. A lot of people decorate their homes with Scripture or at least some reference to God. It doesn't make us closer to God, but it reminds us how close God is. And so the more we put in front of our children, the more they see us living it in front of them and, and making God a priority, they'll make God a priority too. And so we know that Alejandro has a gift on his life, a destiny, a purpose. And the goal is not to tell him what to do, but to help him find out what it is God wants him to do. You know, as parents, sometimes we have our own plans. We have our own ideas, We what we want our kids to do. But the reality is if you do these things, the idea is that he would be so in tune to God that he would find his place on this earth to live out his faith in God. That's There you go. Preach. Preach. That's right. He's just shouted amen. Well, let's pray over him. If you all... stand together. Right now, we want to invite our prayer team partners out of the side of the stage. If you need prayer today, if you need somebody to speak hope and life into whatever's happening in your world right now, that's what these people are here for. There's not anything crazy or out of the ordinary that's going to happen. Um, they're just going to pray for you. We're a church that believes in the power of prayer. We're we're a church that believes in the power and the move of the Holy Spirit. And we recognize that some of you out there, 
Maybe you believe it, but man, right now you're not feeling it. And it helps to come and let somebody speak that into you, to speak that over whatever is happening. And if you need that today, now's a great time. You, you can come now.
Church, let's hide the name of Jesus in this place. 